Hello everyone, I'm Amari and welcome back to my channel. We are playing more Baldur's Gate 3 and can I just say this game has been everything and more I wanted in this game. I'm so blown away by Larian Studios and what they've created and how much they have stuck to the D&D &D overall feel and it's just it's been amazing and I'm seeing that everyone's loving the game too so it makes me more and more excited um, I've looked in on other streamers of course not spoilery bits but you know the bits that I've seen um, in early access was really not far like I really just only made it here um, before I decided to hold off so I can't wait I can't wait I can't wait to keep going we was running for our lives you led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Ooh. This doesn't really make sense. What's unbelievable is how we beat the goblins. You're both heroes. Oh, I, we. I thought, like, we isn't only my party. How we all beat the he- Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hell why is that DC is so high? I have a plus five. But that's a really high DC. Could I get no, I probably don't need it. Yeah, I'll probably be fine. Yeah. <sighs> Nailed that. But that DC is so high. I guess they must be really mad at each other. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This woman saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Oh, crazy eyes. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. Whoa, the they're, they're going to fight. Twitches. He's about to blow. Yeah, he's about to fight. Uh, I'm not I'm going to try and defuse the situation. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Jeez. They really want to fight. Oh. I'm always a little a little worried. You're right. There's too much at stake. Shadow Heart approves. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough. Squabbling Gale is pointless. Approves. The two people the that matter. The have found us. At least we agree on that. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of tension here, and I, I, I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. I kind of remember that the druids were doing something. Something, I don't know. Yeah, we need a healer. Maybe let's talk to this guy first. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Hello, Zevlor. I'm Amari. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, what? I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Um... Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Oh. Nobody's welcome anymore. Oh, because they they're, to they're probably the thinking like... Off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. There is that, that prejudice in D&D against tieflings bringing evil. That's probably what they're thinking. The ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you mm -hmm. could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I'll see what I can do. I think you should. Yes. Yes. No as long as Gail approves. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Okay, let's help them out. Let's 
explore a little bit. I want to see some stuff. I'll make my way from like the very southern point of this druid area all the way up. How far does it go? Oh, there's a Githia. Oh, I shouldn't look at the map. It's super spoilery. I guess the grove probably extends to around here. Oh, I don't want to steal. Can I steal this? Oh, I can't. I can just turn it off and on, probably. There's nothing there. Ah! Could I... Could, I, could everyone sit here? Oh my god. Hold on. Have wished to live in more interesting times. Hold on. Hold on. What the next move is. Hold on. A long way from Waterdeep. <gasps> Cute! Cute! Everyone can sit together. We look bored as hell. Oh, your hand is clipping in there. That's so cute! Aww. I like that. Such a good use of my time. Okay, wait. Uh, oh man. I really want to take that, but I don't want to get told off for stealing. And move. Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Sounds like you've crossed paths with Aridin before? Yeah, when he ran off with the druid that saved our hides the first time. Without Halsin, this grove's not so friendly, I'll tell you that. Oh. Is after another. Did they go out, Can like, I... raiding for goblins? Like oh, that's no. the guy that got shot. Get up, Cannon. I'm sorry, Arka. Don't be sorry. Fetch some help. Oh, Do not embarrass yourself. He is gone. Oh my gosh, no! Lisa. That's so sad. I'm sorry it happened. He's dead somewhere scared. What the hell? I'm, I'm sorry it happened so fast. Someone's going to pay for this. Arka, no, wait. What are you doing? Where's she going? Hello? Where are you going? Hey, hey, hey! You're- you're not in the right mental state! Where are you going? Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you planning, girl? No, he didn't, but, you know, you gotta keep your- keep your emotions in check. You might do something you regret. Ooh, the hollow. Where is she going? Who is she taking out this anger on? I need to be there for this. Where are you going? I'm missing so- I want to explore all of this, but I'm so- I need to know where this girl's going. Oh, she's ready to murder someone. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, she's gonna, gonna kill this me. goblin. Your hands are shaking. I'm, I'm okay with that. Put it down. <laughs> she can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arka. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Shut up. Those words could be your last. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute, I am. I'm blessed. Chosen by the oh, absolute. Bless you, all right. hmm. Move in front of the. No. Watch what happens. Here it comes, you little beast. Oh. I told you. Not now. Oh. 
Girl, we gotta talk about what happened. Like Are you okay? That goblin won't be the last. Oh. Can I loot the body? Oh, it's considered stealing? Oh, that's so terrible. Damn it. Eager for battle. Oh, I can't carry this? Oh, damn it. Let's move. Oh, I don't want to steal from we these people. Okay. Let's let's backtrack before I explore the entire hollow area. I want to Oh, why am I moving so slow here? I feel like I have to duck my head like I'm crouching to get through here. Okay, let's go back to where we were and continue on. Cause there was stuff to explore up here. I love the multi-level fighting and exploration here. It just feels so grand. Oh, my characters are taking a while to come here. Rika. Not now. Please. I mean, I. I could raise him from the dead, or not really raise him, I could turn him undead. You think they would like that? I don't know. Maybe on a more evil run I'll do something of like that. Right now I'm trying to be a little bit nicer. Ooh, can I blow this? Nice, temporary hit points. Could I take it? Oh, you can examine these things like this. Ooh, I want one. I want this. Glad you made it inside. That will be safe here for long, though. There will be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. They do. Um, you could hold off a horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe? Oh, that's a while. While the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Oh, these poor tieflings. I need to help them. They always knew what to say when I was homesick. I remember... oh. There's something up here, too. Oh, hello. Oh! Who's that? Goblin. Oh, you're surprised. Okay, so we get a surprise run. Over here. So in surprise, um, the way it works in D&D, &D, and I'm guessing here too, based on the other fight, is that the surprise round, the person doing the surprising can take actions, and the one being surprised can't take an action. Oh, wrong. Let's get a little closer. Um... I don't have any more spell slots, so I can use my cantrips. And we are very, very low. I should have taken a short, uh, short rest or something. Oh, nice. Good job, Gale. I might have to dash or I won't make that distance. Taking position. Yeah, run. Run to safety. Not up there. It's not that safe up there, but okay. Oh, hey! Excuse you. What the hell? You listening? Feculent beast! <laughs> Claim it is. We're running on empty here. I don't fancy their chances. Oh, nice. Oh, come on, Gil. Gil. I am death. Too, too much. This is your end. Easy peasy. You are safe now, Nadira. 
Morning Star. Oh. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. A soul coin? But too bad. I earned it. You Fair have square. one? Ah, uh, why does she have a soul coin? Soul coins are coins with like a, a soul trapped inside it. It's like a, it, yeah, it's like a currency, but also um, it powers their machine. Like they have machines in Avernus in the hells and it powers the machines. And it's kind of like a, a morality thing. You're using a soul. Uh, why does she have one? I've been to Avernus, but I'm no devil's servant. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Um, a mind flayer abducted me, and its ship went straight to Avernus. Oh, difficulty class of a five, and I get an advantage. Why do I have an advantage? Situational. I wonder why. Boom, she's super convinced. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. She's kind of mean. Mean, Here. very mean girl. Take this. Take it's what? worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider Is she giving me the soul coin? My life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. <gasps> It serves in the Nine Helms as very valuable currency. What? Why do I have this now? I don't know how I feel about this. Strange, incomprehensible whispers emanate from this coin, pervading your mind with rage and despair. These coins can power infernal engines. There. I gotta sell stuff, my goodness. What's this? Peer through the telescope. A dragon. It's super blurry. My eyesight is pretty bad. Um, focus the telescope on the distant object, trying to get a clear view. Thank God I have jack of all trades. Dragon, a red dragon, meaning that there's gith up there. You see a dragon right? circling like a bird of prey. Oh, it's circling. Hunting. It's hunting. Move to the little it went left. Move to the left. The telescope points to the left. Oh, it's a crash site. That's where we came from. Move it to the right. The telescope points straight ahead. Oh, that's where the dragon was. I can still hear its wings. Move it to the right. The telescope points to the right. Whoa, the perception on this telescope is crazy. You can hear sounds from it too. I heard like shouting there. It sounded like burning. To the right. So that's over this way, somewhere where that tree is blocking. Probably somewhere down there. I don't know. There. So the crash is up there. That's the crash site. So somewhere over there. It's a crazy strong telescope. Time to press oh, ahead. Let's see. So the goblin came from somewhere here. Ah, uh, it's it came from from there. Is there a way? Oh, there's a way down. Oh, there's a way here. <gasps> a Squirrel! I was gonna say it's a fox and then I realized, no, it's small. Can I talk to it? Oh, I can talk to it! Hello, little squirrel! It's so cute! Oh. The squirrel lunges at your foot <gasps> and bites it. <laughs> the 
That's so mean. Why is this girl mad? I didn't do anything. Animal handling. Study the creature's behavior. What a rude creature. Oh, this jack of all trades is great. Just gives me another, another you little bit of a chance. Gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Ugly. On her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. <sighs> Scold her with a click of your tongue. Yay! Yeah, back off, squirrel. Don't be mean. Her tail is covering her head like an umbrella. She studies you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. After a Cute. final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble. She scurries away. <laughs> Cute reward. Timber's incentive. We we convinced Timber to let us walk on their territory. He I thought you said she. He left us a small trinket to keep us away from the trees. You receive a hyena's ear. The hell did Timber get a hyena ear? What? The hell kind of s What do you eat, squirrel? Okay, wait, we'll go there later. Hold on. Um, let's go through that hollow area. Maybe I can also sell a few items. Um, let me consolidate our backpacks too, because since I have high charisma, maybe I can do the bartering. Oh, I, I have. S okay. I have a lot of stuff. Ooh, the keychain. But maybe I'll sell for everyone on everyone's behalf. I don't know, just in case I have to do a charisma thing for it. What's this one? You can keep your mysterious artifact. None of none of the weapons I picked up are really gonna be upgrades. One to eight. Yeah, see? Two to seven. Ooh. It's a little overwhelming. And then I can sell all of these things. This one I know not to wear. I don't remember why, but I know... Is this the gloves? Not to wear them? I don't know. I just remember doing something before and then it was bad. My early access memory is quite poor. Seems simple the plaque. This grove is kept by Sylvanas' faithful. Sylvanas. Oh, I think this guy is the selling guy. <gasps> Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. Mm, what about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. What? That's so terrible. They're gonna leave them. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. Yeah. But the survival of the grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Okay, I understand that. But at the same time, I'm looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie can put you to rights. <laughs> sure. She should be with the others in the I inner got chambers. got one in my brain. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Take everything. Bedroll, bedroll. I'm keeping those for decoration, shield. 40 gold for a, a soul? 40 gold for a soul. Could I barter more? Could I be like, hey, how about more? Huh? Trader will be pleased. Oh, maybe it's it's my relationship with him. So if I get my relationship with him, like, either way, maybe I'll get more. Okay, now I have gold. These things are quite quite expensive. 500. Okay, we're going we're not going to spend on that yet. We're early in game. We can relax a little bit about Sylvanas, buying stuff. Guide your path. 
Oh, let me short arrest us. <laughs> Time to get done. Nice. Oh, I love the animation for it. Okay, now Calm where down. to explore first? Oh, here, these Please. people. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. What's going on here? Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Oh. We sh you should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. I got this. Yeah. Mmm. He's like, oh, okay then. I'll stay. Thank you. It's the right thing to do and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. We should have left by now. Damnation! Ah, oh, damnation. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. Yeah, but he can't leave. Is this talking about staying with the other tieflings? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. The tieflings need help. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Hold on. Why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. <sighs> the greatest wizard in Baldur's <laughs> Gate. Nice. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramaz's tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. Oh. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. Oh. <laughs> Should I say the Baldurian? I want to say the Baldurian thing. I've heard stories about Laroakan. Not all of them good. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Laroakan for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself <laughs> to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Roland and Laroakan will be known far and wide. <laughs> You'll see. Can't keep the goblins out I, I don't know the 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 lore of Laroakan if there is one. So he's got me there. Well maybe we'll find out more about this Laroakan. Okay. Oh! Oh cows! If only I could speak to animals. He's hungry. How about you? Are you hungry? He's bored. Oh. What are, what are you? You're just strange. Why are you strange? The ox makes you uneasy. Try to discern why. What? Is it because it's small? Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. <gasps> Polymorph? <Moo. laughs> Very convincing. Moo! Yes. By all means.
Well, maybe Gail can see more. Oh, he like crit. I know when this ox was born. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Moo. Moo. How do I un? How do I dispel your magic? No time to dally. Oh, I can't. Do you have a dispel? Do you have a dispel? Hmm. 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 Let me. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. How do I prepare different spells for you? Or it has to be done on a long rest? How do wizards work again? Spellbook. Gale. Learn more spells. Oh, I can learn detect thoughts. Hmm. Hmm. There's something there. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress and we're no warriors. There's something up with this ox, man. Still alive, so that's progress. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. We're gonna help you. I really wanna this this moo. Maybe it's a druid? I mean we are in a druid camp. But how do you get a druid to like unshape shift? Okay. Um let's go look at this. What these people are doing. Oh training their young, cute. Ooh, me? Oh. Uh, right. Uh Go for the heart. Yeah, go for the heart. Stab with the pointy end. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. This kid's got spirit. He's gonna make it far. Very well. Why was I suddenly targeting the kid? This is boring. We should train against real goblins. What happened goblins? to your eye? Oh, he's already fought some real goblin. Oh, Will, Will. Hello? Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. <laughs> He's just toying with the child. Yeah, torture the child some more. <gasps> Put him in his place. I can't do it. <laughs> oh no. I'm not like you. No. I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. What a nice man. He's helping these these people. Hey there, can I have a word? This whelp is hopeless. It's good advice, child. You'll, you'd do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade oh. of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. Oh, whoa. Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yeah. And where was he? And we both carry parasites. Another escapee? Thank the gods, I need all the friends I can get. Who is that woman? That's that's too much prying. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. What happened to his Could eye? Could just be good luck. 
I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. What? Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Hunting. He hunts in the hells? You should consider better company. Dev a devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Faerun? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an <gasps> archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. Oh. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Oh, Karlak isn't... I don't want to spoil. Um... Uh, I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. <laughs> You'll need to make <laughs> right. room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Can I take this book? This book is packed full of tales of adventure. The monsters are ferocious, the men are muscled, the women are buxom, and the clothing is easily torn. Something is cleft in twain on every other page, although you do find a passage that's a little less bloody. The woman's eyes were dusky, filled with mystery and promise. Baldurian, a uh, Baldurian was intrigued. Anything? He asked. Anything, she said. Just name it and it can be yours. And what do you want in return? Oh, just a small thing, she smiled. Baldurian laughed. Nothing about him was small. I want your soul, Baldurian, she sighs. Give me your spirit and whatever you desire shall be yours. Baldurian considered this for a moment. Very well, I want a turnip. She hesitated. Your soul in exchange for a turnip? A nice turnip, nodded Baldurin. Very well. Dark smoke swirled around the woman, whose skin was turning red. Then you shall... The next couple of pages have been torn out. When the story resumes, the woman, now fully revealed as a devil, is kneeling at Baldurin's feet. Curse you, Baldurin. I am bound to you. Yours to call upon when you need me, and your soul is your very own once more. Let that be a lesson to you, laughed Baldurin. Never underestimate the power of a turnip. Uh, why Why are the pages ripped out? That seems like such a cool story. I'm gonna take this book with me. Ah, it's stealing if I take it with me. When, when they all get killed, if that happens from some goblin attack, then, then I'll take it. Oh, another book. A is for... What is it called? A is for... Azith and Other Gods, Part 1. <laughs> Ominator, sun's bright light, shines the truth swing, into man's loss. Speak his name to stop a fight, then invoke a legal cause. Clause. Beware, dread Asmodeus, both his word and promise sweet, more able to betray us than the devils at his feet. Oral is merciless and cold, the winter's icy breath. Spare her a little food and gold, so you won't freeze to death. Oh, I need part two. True. Who are you? Gix? Step! Harry! Strike! Damn it! Oh god. It's just not land. You gotta move faster, man. <laughs> Interesting technique, having some trouble? Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood. And the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. Oh, what? Need to be ready for a fight. 
But I'm useless with a sword. Yeah, I can see that. Try hitting the target. Actually, wait. Um, my athletics is only a plus one, and this is all from Jack of Trades. Uh, you know, balance. Space your feet apart. Oh, there. Yikes! <laughs> well, that was the wrong advice. I'm not gonna waste my roll on him. Like this. All right. Step, step, strike. Oh. oh I think you made it hopeless. Worse. Keep the advice to yourself <laughs> next time. Damn it. I'm sorry, yeah. buddy. It's not my fault. You can't fight. Oh, 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 oh. There's the other book. There's a torch there, too. <laughs> this is so cool. Where's B? Oh man, I'm gonna read them in order. Il Mater hears the martyr's cries, takes in the ill and the oppressed. When one to help the other dies, then by Il Mater they are blessed. Turgal. Turgal? It is so often said, once gave away his bony throne. For Kelimvor, he tracks the dead, makes sure that dead souls do not roam. Kelimvor, Lord of the Dead, will take your hand when death arrives. Make sure souls are correctly led to all their proper afterlives. Done. I want more. Could I take this? Yep. Could I take this? Oh! <gasps> I can. Yes, how come that one's not stealing, but the other ones were? Okay, that's not stealing. Can can Lysel carry these? Ha! Huh. Can I move stuff to camp? Send to camp. Nice. Okay, Lysel, I would like you to pick up. <laughs> it, it has to be done. It must be done. I'm telling you, I pick up everything that's not nailed to the ground. Take this with me. No. Aww. Okay, Zoru. Hey. I'm all nice eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Oh. Uh. Hold, hold it, hold it, Lazel. I'll see to this one, because she might kill him. You dare interrupt? Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Oh my gosh! Is she gonna, is she gonna kill him? Oh, fine, Doozy must make it quick. Bow. If she starts killing him, I'm going to stop her because. Lower. What? Uh. Oh my god! I don't. This is demeaning. He trapped her for a good reason. I'm gonna tell her off. That's that's enough now. These poor people. They were just doing their job. You dare interrupt? Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Actually, I kind of want to see what she does, but I'm a little bit worried about what she will do. Could I save? Yeah. Lower. Oh, Shadowheart did not like that. You saw another gift. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. 
N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No mm. twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. This poor man is so afraid. I like how we just look at each other. It makes it me seem you more movie-like. Okay, good thing she didn't kill him. Because I did not want that to happen. Oh, there's a backpack here. God, deliver me. <laughs> hey, I need to make that 80 camp supply. It's a tactician mode is like is insane. 80 camp supplies per long rest? That's insane. Actually, um, no, I can't take it. Oh, we can talk to Lazel. Lazel, Lazel, what do you want? The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Yeah, yeah. We're just looking for a replacement for her. She's a temp. Do you plan to be rough with everyone we meet? Rough? Soon you will be vomiting blood and tearing apart your own flesh. When the tentacles sprout from your lips, will you still cry that I was rough? Oh. Enough. Just tell him. Oh. All right, you've made your point. Then I needn't make it again. The teethling was clear. Teethling? If there are west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Did you say teethling? What do you mean purification? The crash holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. It really will? <laughs> Did you say teethling? I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this Fey run. No, no, no. It's Fey run. <laughs> I'll just say it the exact same way that she says it. Could we have. Oh, I wait. I I see another. The Annals of Baldur's Gate. Preface. Centuries ago, a young man sailed from the village of Grey Harbor. Where he went, what he saw, and the deeds he accomplished that are simply uh, are simple legends today. But the wealth he returned with years later is a hard fact. Baldurin made Grey Harbor rich. His gold built docks, funded businesses, and raised strong walls to protect it all. One of the gates in this flourishing city was named in his honor, but so great was the wealth that flowed through it that the name of the gate became more famous than the village that started it all. The name Grey Harbor has been relegated to dusty history books and ancient maps, but Baldur's Gate? That name is on the lips of every traveler in Faerun. Picking that up. And the book. Um, I'll get in trouble if I open that, so we'll do that later after we explore everything. There was more in there. Let's finish up this area first. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Okay, that's stealing. That's stealing. Told you. Not now. Okay, so they're really set on not speaking. Got it. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. Uh the forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. 
Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. Mm. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Ah, Alas, I have a soul coin for that. Are far more humble these days. Let me see your wares. I might have a few more things to sell to you, maybe. This torch. <laughs> I don't want to sell anything else. I am such a hoarder. I apologize if anyone's getting triggered by this, but this is my playthrough. <laughs> Deal with it. Okay, weapons. I mean, I could, I could probably upgrade my crossbow. That would be nice, but I'm multi-class soon. See, I don't want to spend anything until we've done our multi- our, not multi-class, until we've done our subclass so that I can start finding weapons fortune. that are probably better suited to what we build into. So let's just save that. Meli. I'm waiting on someone and you want him. Do you mind? Okay. Sorry. Barth. And Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Oh, I can't talk Don't to Barth. Don't make me urge you, boy. Oh. Too late. Looking at you is painful enough. Oh, what's going on here? Die if I met the rogue and reeking hey, kid. What did you do to him? I'll have to burn them. What's going on here? Is it back, kid? I already told you I don't have it! I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. Oh, did I you nick something? I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! Uh... Don't... Don't you dare lay a finger on that child. You threatening me? You're the one making threats to a child. Pull yourself together. Ah, okay, good. Whew. <laughs> you don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He... Oh, the hell's with this? I bet the kid did. Devils get away with everything because of godly bastards like you. Oh my gosh. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will. But personally, I doubt it. See you around. All right, child. Hey, <laughs> child. I'm going to find you later. I bet he did take it. Recruitment poster. A man and a woman stand side by side in armor emblazoned with a red fist surrounded by flames. Find pride and purpose in the flaming fists. Join today and protect Baldur's Gate, led by Grand Duke Older, Ra uh, Ravenguard himself. You'll be tasked with guarding the city streets, protecting its people, and upholding the laws that govern us. Speak to any of our friendly fists throughout the city, or visit our headquarters at the South Tower of Baldurin to find out how you can blaze a new career path today. Taking that. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Oh, look at all these bedrolls that I could Depends. sell. How many people are dumb enough to ask? Oh, it's just left here. True. I wish I could take this too, but... Hey, tell me. Oh, I'm selling. Oh, backpack. I'm just finding things to sell. Oh, hello, Icaron, Icaron. We've known enough grief this ten-day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. I won't. I'm literally not even stealing. I'm taking things that are not stealing. If it's red, I do not take. Everything else is mine. One foot, two feet, well met, will meet. Is this a Dr. Seuss? One foot, two foot, well met, will meet. Two drinks, one mink, one draw, two drinks, one bear, three bears. Come join, drink here. One foot, two feet, well met, will meet. 
<laughs> Yondala and Garl share to shared twists them afar oh my god all covered in butter and they liked each other along came a fly who flew in with a cry to the buttery farl of yolanda and garl when garl took a bite yolanda yondala shrieked with fright don't eat that oh my that's a butterfly there was an old man named Elmoon, who made the be best buns in Faerun, the elders did not scold him whenever he sold them, saying, Elm, bring those buns to our room. Keeping this. I can't ever do, like, reading Dr. Seuss books with my kids. I, I can't do it. I don't. I can't rhyme like that. I don't have that kind of flow. Okay, that is stealing. Stealing. But these bed rolls, oh, those those are for stealing. Nope, those are stealing. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it! I want to pick up that stool. This is all. Oh, Traveler's Guide to this, to the Sword Coast, Volume Nine: Inns and Guest Houses. With the dust of their journey still clinging to boot and cloak. The canny traveler will no doubt seek to secure accommodation within the city, post haste. Below are some establishments that are typical of what the city has to offer. The Blade and Stars, easily identified by its sign, a wooden shield boasting a curved blade against a field of stars. A handwritten scrawl in the margins notes that the sign is currently not in place. This inn is comfortable, quiet, and highly recommended for travelers seeking to recuperate from their journey. Expect unassuming fare at a reasonable price, moderately clean rooms, and passably clean patrons. The Blushing Mermaid. For those seeking an altogether rowier night in the city, the Blushing Ma Mermaid would be the first port of call. Named for the life-size wooden mermaid on display, this inn is known for its ill-reputed patrons, frequent brawls, and although unsavory reputation, an altogether unsavory reputation. Nevertheless, I feature it here owing to great interest from my readership. I can only advise that you exercise extreme vigilance should you choose this establishment. Elf Song Tavern. Most of this passage is illegible due to water damage, apart from the words and phrases nearest to the inner margins. Dimly lit, proprietor Allen, disembodied elvish singing voice. Oh, it's stealing. Oh, I, want, I want the books. Could I talk to Aradin now? Fearless goblin slayer. You sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Um, you should try to be a little friendlier. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. Oh. Uh, charming. I can see why the locals like you so much. Them devils ain't local. They're refugees. Fellow who runs this place offered him shelter. I should speak with that fellow. Do you know where he is? Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've Why? We've got a contract to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Can I have a look at that contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay goblos for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Just tell me where to find the relic. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. I do not like this man. Easy money. Aww. I want these things. Wait. This bedroll. Oh, it's for stealing. You sound like your father. It was his caravan. Oh, damn it. Oh. Gail. Wait. The realm according to Bumpo. Who's Bumpo? The book naturally falls 
to a dog-eared page in which Bumpo describes the more unusual races he's met in his travels. But they weren't half so strange as the bird folk. First, Arakokra I met had the head of a parrot, the body of a human, and wings also of a parrot. I tried not to stare, but it was real hard. Turns out she was one of a motley party, because around her were her table were tabaxi, cat folk, a uh, genasi, elemental folk, and a turtle, turtle folk. Trying to act casual, I asked what the what they oh what they hell they all were what the hell they were all were. They ignored me, but I can't blame them. To them, I must have looked awfully dull and average, for they were the first of their kind I've seen, but I was just one of a billion boring humans to them. Oh, it's okay, everyone's special. The True Impossible Adventures of Tenebrooks Morrow, Volume 2. An excerpt from The True and Impossible Adventures of Terra Brooks Morrow, a pulp serial following the real-life exploits of an interplanar ship's captain. The real Captain Morrow is known never to have left her native Waterdeep and emerges from her rooms at the Yawning Portal only to exchange scrawled manuscripts for fresh meals in ink. And thus, in the light of the Feywind's nearest setting sun, we passed into the lands of the Eladrin. My astute resolution to sail around these forests was betrayed. It seems to me that the river itself conspired to change course, bringing the new bride into the shadow of the trees, that I might see those dancing figures up close. The form of the Eladrin, with which I am now in intimately familiar, is that of the elves as seen in a fewer fever dream, slender as wands and with hair of every changeable hue. Their mood mirrors that fey wilderness from which they spring. One moment, gentle as a still pond, the next inexorable, inexorable and deadly as a falling mountain. The latter I experience only after spending many agreeable hours or perhaps seasons among them. A halfling woman, employed among my crew as a smith, dared to raise her voice in song above that of our hosts. The depth of the insult became clear as the forest fell into silence, and it was only quick thinking on my part that delivered a compromise. When we left, it was without our smith, and the only sound was the solitary ring of her hammer as she endeavored to forge a blade that would sing for the Eladrin more sweetly than she. It has been some centuries since. I hope she has succeeded by now. What? For singing, she must spend an eternity making a singing sword? That's insanity. Is this on oh, stealing too? Bex. They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. Yeah, And a cat. house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, good luck to you both. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Um... Oh my gosh, I know already. I'll be seeking the warmth of the Elf Song Tavern. I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern first thing when we arrive. Yeah. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. Oh, I have to remember that. I won't forget you, Danis and Bex. Okay, Danis and Bex. I hope you guys make it. And there's one more Ozorus back there. I already spoke to him. Um, maybe we can... We can see what's through here. There's something here, but I don't yeah. think, I don't yeah. think I can, I can go in. Oh, I can look. It's unveil. It's not veil. It, yeah, it's veiled though. So I'll have to find a way in there later without angering everyone. So let's see what's through here though. Cause we can go there. It looks like. Here goes nothing. 
Could I got pick? Yeah. What? I have a lockpick. Don't I? Huh. Strange. Maybe it can only be opened from the other side? Okay. Well, maybe we can go here. I want that bucket. Let's see if we can jump. Fantastic. That's curious. Bucket is mine. Ooh, stone door. Could we jump over to here? I'll go there in a moment. I just want to see where this goes. Oh, what's that? Oh, no! I accidentally... Roughly I accidentally Idealist clicked on her, but hopefully that kept us alive. Yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Are you sure Kresh is our only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each Kresh contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself that we may mm, gain Vlakith. total understanding. Mm. Total understanding? Absolutely not. I'm not gonna... Uh, books are fallible, as are those who write them. Not books, but slates. Oh, okay, so, so... Sorry, slates are not fallible then. Truth as perfect as the queen who decreed it. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Okay, so that didn't harm me. Thank God. Oh, harm someone though. Oh, oh, nice. Is this the back of the shed? Is that her name? Pendirna? Pendirna. So do her face and try to read her emotions. Dory, I'm here to help. Yes. Damn it. Was inventory today? I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. Wait, I don't understand. Need a hand up? I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a falls. Why? Bloody potion! What? Where did you get this potion? From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear and fearless. Mm. Of course she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. Uh... <laughs> I can heal you for a price. 
You'll be dead in seconds if the goblins come. I can heal you for a price. Oh god, I just made it. Money coming my way. All right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Here. Very mercenary of you. I wouldn't have done it any differently. Oh, she approves. I love it when Shadowheart approves. Hold still and I'll cast the spell. All the bloody things to happen. Well, shit. We're out of spell slots. Wits and blades always sharp. Black, it's well be done. <sighs> Damn it. No one stopped me yet. Damn it. Oh, damn it. We need a we need a long rest. <laughs> I need a long rest. We we should we should go to a long rest. Yeah, why not? We'll come back and she'll wait the whole day. Oh, they want to speak to me, though. I stare on. It's quite a sign. Oh. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. Um. You seem more relaxed. I am. I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we arrive at this gith crash. Will we find out how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? It doesn't have to be. We can still travel together. Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. Because he wants to suck my blood, probably. You're quite the ally, after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, Surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Oh, thank you. <laughs> True, I am pretty impressive. <laughs> Aren't you just? Are you feeling all right? Hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to... Get some air. Clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. He is hungry. He wants to suck my blood. I'm like pretty sure he wants to suck my blood. He looks hungry. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. She's so beanie. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. What? <laughs> what that I would do in the battle up there, among the tears. What do you mean by the tears? Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Ah. Uh. It must be quite a shock to leave your crush behind in a right. Oh, oh, oh. I know that they. Okay, wait. Are all Githyanki from the tears? Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crushes all throughout realm space. Kalir is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon, where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. Whoa! But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. I thought we were bonding, Lazel. We resume our search for a crash. Oh. Hey, Will, you hanging out? Tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Um, uh, uh, surprisingly fine, in spite it all. <laughs> Surprising is just the word, isn't it? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, 
have showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Hmm, something special about us? Or at least about our tadpoles? Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that mm. answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's I get agree. some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Why are they still green? Does it mean I have the more dialogue with them? At your calling. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hills? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the arch devil Zariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Who is this source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Let's move on to other matters. All right. Anything more we should discuss? Um... I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma days. By all means. Anything more we should discuss? Uh, I don't suppose you've come across an expert healer in your travels? <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. Perhaps. We should pay her a visit. Um, yeah, he's still green on my map, unless it's just delayed. But lay- but- oh, Shadowheart wants to speak to me. Still working the on her d20? The pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. I can't wait to get this thing out of my head. Um, so what will come next for you once this is all over? Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Oh, yes. Who? Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? Mm. I don't want to probe her thoughts. How are you feeling? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't like hypothetical questions. If you turn into a monster, no, maybe I could leave you tied up while, while I hunted for a cure. Really? I'd just kill you. Of course you would. Anyway, get some rest. Try not to dream about tying me up. I will try. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do some bag management while I'm here before before long rest. All right, time to get some shut eye. Oh, I do have a designated bed. Oh God, this is the problem I'm having. Let's one. Let's get rid of some of the. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of some of the smaller ones. Just so that I'm not overwhelmed in my bag with a bunch of small things.
Oh, it can just do it automatically for me. Okay, fine. Full rest. Asterion, what are you doing? You're creeping around. Should be sleeping. Oh, cool. I didn't even realize that we packed up in the morning. <laughs> There's the stuff I put down, though. Okay, leave camp. Alright, now I can heal her? Did that? No, damn it! Still nothing. Maybe. Maybe it just needs time to wear off. Fingers crossed the goblins don't return anytime soon. Wait, her legs don't work? They're paralyzed? There is work to do. Can I inspect you? Travel? It doesn't say paralyzed. Oh, paralyzed by magic. Do I have a potion for this? Is that blood? No. Um sharpness, drow poison, giant heal strength, focus, animal speaking, feather fall. Flying, healing, healing, speed, simple toxin. Hmm. I don't want to steal anything while she's here. Can I take this Come candle on, though? Just move. No, I can't. Soul coins, a treat. Treaties? Academic disclosure. This research research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane of the Nine Hells. Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. Soul coins, as a concept, are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of a person and magical essence, the soul, is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohort. They are frequently traded for their value, can purchase... Mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange oh, engines the in the hills. However, there is a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she had one coin that she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemure's status. She connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly re written legal document in Infernal, with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. Oh. The devils in Avernus are basically lawyers. Could I take this? Taking it. Damn it. Come on! What? Wait! What? Uh, you promised! Guards! No! I didn't mean to click that! Oh my god. This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself or this guard. Will oh be my god. I did not even sell. mean to click on it. Ah, try to talk your way out of it. Ah, my apologies. I seem to have... What is even trespassing? When you think about it, it's just being in a place. Where is the crime in that? Oh please. Oh please. Ah! I didn't mean to click on the chest. I was literally just trying to click on the bottles at the top. Oh my god. Use inspiration. I'm going to inspire myself. Oh, thank god. Your words are enough to resolve the matter. Still, you need to leave. 
Yeah, leaving. Should you transgress again, your efforts to talk yourself out of trouble will be of little use. That's fine with me. I am leaving. My pleasure. That was... What? This is a restricted area. I was leaving. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you. I was literally cell. leaving. My apologies. I seem to have taken a wrong turn. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, I am critting twice in a row. Ah. Your words are enough to resolve the matter. Still, you need to I leave. swear I am leaving. Look, you I'm I am walking. Again, that, that woman in there is not getting in my help anymore. Will be of little use. <sighs> I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. We're all leaving. We're going here, we're going here, all of us. See, we're gone. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh my god. Okay. The witch is somewhere here, right? Right tool will do the trick. I still can't. Could I jump up here? I can't jump far, so. There we go. And then jump up here. Oh! Oh god. Gale? You could have died. Whoa! Oh god. You can't go in there? Oh yeah, taking this bedroll, taking the cooking pot. Oh god. Everyone out of the way! Gail! Gail! Anything through here? Oh, up here. Can I go up here? Right. Hmm. What is the point of coming here? Ooh, I really take my chances with these high DCs. Okay, now that is unlocked though, what is the point of being able to circle around? Oh, this is a prison to get out. Oh. I, I put myself in prison only to escape. <laughs> I served my time! Happy. Okay. We've explored this area. Let's go down here now. I also have stuff to sell later. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Are you alright? Mm hmm. And see what ha has his attention. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Investigate. Search the rocks for an opening. Mm. 
Well, there's nothing here. Can't believe I, I I got a one. I see nothing. You look the rocks over, but find no sign of a way through. Okay. Oh, gloves. Are these for stealing? Pick up. Rope. Just take the whole box with me. Look, don't take your eyes off my hands. I think I can do it. Oh. Well, I've got like three crits in a row. That's randomness for you though. But that will fit in my bag. Yep, that will fit in your bag. Pick up. Yeah. Sophie. Oh, um, hi. Hi. I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. So, what's your side of the business? What? Um, I'm the guard. So, don't steal anything. I'm watching you. I'm watching you too. You're definitely stealing stuff, kid. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Nope. Oh, their Go sleight on. of hand is impressive. It's lucky. It is. That was a fancy you trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. What's in it for me? Miss Lyda, let me do it back to him. <laughs> watch this kid mimic his trick and make the ring disappear. Oh, come on. I want to look cool. Ooh. Ooh. Of course, when I I really needed it to succeed, it, it does not. Oh. <laughs> uh, no one saw Hard that. Good luck, lady. But like I said, we can change that. Watch. Uh huh. I already took the ring. Call it. Heads or tails? Um. Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? <laughs> well, hold on. One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Tails. We got tails. There. Happy? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Not yet. Flip the coin again. Really? I mean, fine. Heads or tails? Tails. We got tails. There. Happy? This kid is tricking me somehow. <laughs> sure. I, I am indeed. I got a free ring. You gotta pay for that. Oh. <laughs> Why won't I pay for it? Oh. Here, you can have it back. Now, what do you have for sale? You got it. One sec. That's what I got. But what happened there? Oh, he has pack supplies. How much for all three of yours? 300? You can have some of my bedrolls then. Here, take my bedrolls. <laughs> I don't want to sell the other stuff. Oh, what's this for? Manufactured by the ho High House of God. Is this for crafting or to sell? You bought something. Most everybody says it looks like Why does like that junk say save on. failed perception? Just want to support a young businessman. Oh, you have. You definitely have. Anyway, he stole see something from sometime. me. Take care. Safe travels. You're such you a car salesman. You realize the other child does too. She looks nervous. Where are you going? Hold on. Mm. 
Metallic gloves. You have gloves? You don't have gloves. Oh wait, is this medium armor or heavy? Medium. You can use that. You're welcome. Oh, hello, child. You were the one that looked nervous. Um, hello again. Um. Hey, you're back. Look to buy, sell, or what? I want to trade. Here's what I got. Okay, I'll put my camping supplies in there in a moment. Is there anything else? Ink pot, no. I want like pack supplies, a ring of infinite wishes. The exterior of this ring is roughly carved with nonsensical runes. I want this gold. Well, what? You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Ha! <gasps> Child! Uh, I don't have, I mean, jack of all trades. Observe her silently. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming Aww. down her cheeks are indeed real. Relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. You did earlier, though. Uh -uh. I already took some of your stuff. Brought it back to the hideout. I'm so sorry. Oh, child. Get back then. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. You're going back? Follow you, child. Whoa, the way I walked down there was insane. Why can't I go in the hole? Why can't I go in the hole? Am I too large for the hole? Can I loot the hole? I wonder if there's other ways then. Uh, hey, let me talk to you, Mattis, about this hole. Oh, no, no, no. No ceiling. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Cut the act. Have you taken something, something that doesn't belong to you? Me? No, promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. You know who you should talk to? Mole. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. Oh, shoot. Then I'll get my answers out of her. You bet. Good luck, pal. Does she mean this hole? No rest for the wicked, I see. Isn't there a crack in the wall here somewhere? Am I dreaming? That when I walked by here, it was like, oh, here, this this thing. We can't fit in any. No, maybe we're too big. We gotta find another way. I'll come back for my stuff. Much further can I go? I don't even know what they took from me. Yeah, I don't know what they took from me. I have no idea. Please, last room. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Ugh! Let me through, 
Shabra Shabra, I'll rip your damn throat out! Oh. <laughs> I feel so sorry for these tiefling. I want to have a word. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. I'd rather you not get eaten by a bear. We need to get Arabella out, now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. We've I'd been crying. I'd trek through the nine hells than trust that snake! Ugh! I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's Although your daughter was fault. trying to steal, but I at the same time. I told her I wish the time. wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. This grove is like a cauldron about to boil over. I say we check in on the child. Make sure she comes to no harm. Um, she's just a child. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. Try grease some palms. These things over. Oh wait, can I talk to the others? We could help each other fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Oh no, they just like say things. Okay. Alright. I'll talk to the bear. <laughs> uh-huh. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You get back. Um I'm not looking for trouble. Can you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Oh? Go ahead. Okay. I bet she's giving them hell. She's not out <gasps> What does this say? Scribbled note? Hold on. Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy enough as it is. As is. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursheim friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Oh, there's a path over there. Hold on, I'll deal yes. with that later. Yes. Volo, yes, Volo. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came. You saw them up close? Yes. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Uh, fine. Ask your questions. I love Olo. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. <laughs> so, Volo, for some people who don't understand, uh, don't know this about D&D, so he, one of the source materials is Volo's Guide to Monsters. Um, he's basically like the David Attenborough of of D&D. He travels around documenting um, all of these creatures. He's like a sage. I guess he's kind of like a bard in a way, and that's what I based one of my bard characters on before, was basically Volo. Like, just documenting the world around. Um, a classic raid gang complete with lasher and smatter of boy uh, boyags? What's that? My, a scholar after my own heart. Mm -hmm. Spent much time among goblins? Uh... uh the time we spent among books, I'm a student of the page. Or am I? I'm not unfamiliar with their kind, certainly. Shocking little creatures, aren't they? Still, there's quite a bit more to them than most accounts allow. Yes. I myself plan to recall the world's most extensive catalogue of their means and habits. A blue ocean of information, I dare say. I know. Now, 
I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. Sure, sure, sure. And I'm a fan. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon? There was one in the sky. Was there a dragon? There is no dragon. There wasn't any... There wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the... Well, there was a red one in the sky, but you said dragon. bronze dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? <laughs> I love him. Um, quite so. They sang the phrase like a battle hymn. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. Oh. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! <laughs> Dramatic. How has Maglaviet responded? Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, Intend to get to the bottom of it. Oh, I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak. In fact, oh, you're going to go to the goblin camp? Me, I ought not to dawdle. Okay, um, be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue? Hmm? Yeah, and an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket until we meet again. Be careful, Volo. You're so brave. Bosk. <laughs> Look at this bear. It's so cute. It's like some kind of... Oh, isn't Shadowheart afraid of wolves? Look, look, Shadowheart. It's a wolf. By Sylvanas, the tree father, our turmoil is calmed. With two hours or one. Oh. Autumn Crocus? What's that? Is it safe to be around here? Because I just need to get some stuff. What else is around here? Oh, hello. Cute. That. Let me do this very gently, so I don't get that sickle by accident. I'm not stealing anything, I'm getting only the things that I'm allowed to get. There we go. Look, sleepy bear. It's in here. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Throw a fish next to the elevator? Sure. Oh. Oh, that got you awake. I want to talk to you. Hello. Oh, he just went back to sleep. He was so cute. He's so sleepy, boy. There's another bear down there. What have you heard? Wait, let's see if I can talk to any of these guys. Well, you don't look like you're part of this ritual. You look like you're just standing there. Let's talk to you first. Speak. Uh, what were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Persuasion. I help defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. 
Ejects the refugees and we will be safe. And she's wrong? Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Hmm, so she could be an ally in helping keep the tiefling here. Uh, I hear our ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping prepare it? I would prefer not to. But if Master Halsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. Hmm. So at least we have someone kind of on the tiefling side, understanding that it's wrong to do that. In umbram kratus, sanguine iuratus. In umbra tua pater aborum. Okay, so I guess we can't uh, disrupt them during this ritual that they're preparing. Before we go into the grove area, I want to go down because I see something. I see a bear down here. And I see many fish. Oh, that's the bear's fish. I will not steal. I want to just talk to you. Orn, moan, oh. Okay, well. I guess if we didn't we didn't have any fish, then that would have been the only option. So we can head into here now where the druids are, see if we can help. Everything here is for stealing, right? Oh, there's a there's a letter here. Can I take this? Oh damn it. Can I take this? Correspondence report. A message scratched in a worried hand. Received mes message from Vag via Sirith, one of Nettie's birds. We buried Sirith a ten day ago. Not sure how Hag found him. Message itself was threat, but also invitation. She wants to meet. Haven't replied. Buried Sirith again beneath a heavier stone. Oh. Someone got did he rise from the dead or someone took him out oh I can take this milk can and this cauldron and this cooking pot <laughs> I need money constantly if I'm gonna survive this camping supply costing freaking 80 how do I get in Oh, there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her. She stole the idol of Sylvana. <gasps> Please. I'm sorry. This, this is poor child. Koga. She's just a a what, Rath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out every stranger. <gasps> uh, thief poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite? Excuse me? Food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here. Until the rite is complete. This is so terrible. Still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. Oh, I hate this woman. <laughs> persuasion. Release her. I mean Bard persuasion, Sylvanas are more connected with nobly sown seeds than punishing children was. Was he not? It just sounds more poetic. 
She's so awful. The words of the Tree Father, spoken plain. It is as you say. Sifisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Oh. Thank you, Korga. Master what happened Holfin to Halston isn't here. Shadowheart? Keep his name off your tongue. Lest Tila pierce it. What was that with you, Shadowheart? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. Yeah. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. Mm hmm It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? No. Turn to other matters. Uh... I want to talk about all that's happened to us? Fine. Hmm. What's on your mind? <laughs> How am I holding up to your estimations? There's a big wolf there. Are you okay? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Oh? What will we do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Uh... Where would you go? Home. Baldur's Gate. Oh There's my gosh, that's my home too! There. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Some seems personal. I won't pry if it's not something you want to talk about. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. Um, leave. And then Gale. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Rather important, no less? Okay, all right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame <laughs> some obstacles. Yeah. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. Wow. The way you Thank diffused you. the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. Oh, is this how when we increase our relationships with them, they they ah, oh, that's so nice. It's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. Of course he has a you cat. See, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Okay. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. And not without some effort. Mm -hmm. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item. And absorb the weave inside. Okay. So like a magic vampire. So we have a vampire and a magic vampire. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? Wouldn't that ruin the item? Trust me when I say, the loss of the occasional wizard staff or tome of enchantment is a bargain given the cost of allowing me to deteriorate. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact before we were abducted it's only a matter of time before my craving returns okay that is why i turn to you i need you to oh help gosh me he's so high maintenance items to consume it is vital dare i say it 
critical. Does it keep him beautiful? <laughs> um, where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. I do. Know for yourself, how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. He looks mad. Is he just hungry? There'll be danger involved. Or great <gasps> cost. Uh. Uh. Okay, sure. Happy to help, I guess. I don't know. He just, I mean, it's its just destroying some stuff. Some cool stuff, maybe. We can Splendid. give him the trash. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. What is this item? Is this gloves of power? Absolute's bane on a melee hit, possibly inflict uh, to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. I need to think about this. Is there a time limit on giving him these? Like, does it happen like every couple of long rests? He said a few days. Anyways, I see that I've leveled. Okay, so I've been recording for quite a while for this episode, so we will leave it at this episode and we'll pick up again right here. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Oh gosh, she's frightened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shadowheart.